afternoon or actually as it is now good evening on the first decent sunny Sunday in 2018 bastard white shit is mostly going away sun has been shining all day solar panels have been humming along it's fantastic so recently um, I had a little issue actually I had a fairly big issue I had a weekend, a time change weekend, where I went, mm, things don't feel good, I'm going to ignore it because I've overdone it. Went to work Monday, had a real problem, came home, went to bed, got up Tuesday, had an issue, went to what we call immediate care, MASH, whatever terminology you want to use, mm, plant seems to be taking over, and was sent to the ER, where I subsequently uh, was told I had appendicitis, and they removed it. Fabulous. So... Not really after the sympathy vote, because it's not the purpose of the video. Uh, what is the purpose then? Well, the purpose of the video is the post getting better toys. All the things I decided to buy for myself after the event so that, uh, so that I could feel better. Any excuse to buy toys. And one of the toys is actually an unboxing. I'm going to do an unboxing. So Dave, what is it that you're trying to do? Well, I need to get the boxes, which I now have done and now we'll go on and do the fun stuff so the first thing i decided to some new headphones so i watch a show called linus linus tech tips he's out of vancouver british columbia and he did a review of uh, bluetooth wireless headsets noise cancelling and all the rest of it and and i kind of liked it and then i found somebody else who did the two that they did and the sony um, which I will show you shortly, and they decided that the Sony was better than the other two. Here is the Sony. It is a, uh, I can't see it on this side, because, oh, it's a WH-1000MX2. It's their top-of-the-range Bluetooth headset, but let me tell you, it's fantastic. I decided that it was time to get back in touch with the treadmill. The annoying thing is it's an old receiver. It's not annoying. It's an old receiver. I bought it intentionally because it had the connections I wanted and it would do the transversion or transcoding into HDMI and go to the TV I wanted. So I looked at this receiver and thought, you know what, there must be a way of buying an external Bluetooth transmitter. This is a Avantri wireless audio transmitter and receiver 2-in-1. And as I say, I will put links up, but here's the box. And it does look exactly like that. The next one is a, another Blu-ray player. Actually, it's not a Blu-ray player, it's a UHD Blu-ray player. It's the high-def version, the 4K version. So I would wanted the, the latest generation, and actually it's the only generation, OPPO, uh, 203 is their 203 UDP player. Well, this year Sony have released a nice sized unit, nice 85 inch TV. And so, with that, I was going to get the, the Oppo, and the Oppo does the Sony version of the um, Adobe Studios DV and all this kind of idea. So, they had dropped the bomb. They um, also make these things phones. In fact, actually, there I am. I'm I wonder if that goes into infinite, recording of recording of recording. Anyway, so Oppo had decided that they make more money with phones than they do with hardware, and they were closing down their business. Yesterday, my box arrived. So, as I'm thinking, I'm probably waffling on royally now. This has been going on for more minutes than I care to remember. Um, we'll get to the unboxing. So I'm going to change the position and we will see the box. Ta-da! Here we are. Yes, you can even see the phone. Let me move that out of the way. So, this is the box. This is the box it came in. It's a glorious box. All it is is a standard brown UPS box. It is even UPS as well. That was a good guess. So now we will open it up. Remember kids, don't try this at home. Ah. Bastards. Why do these people do these things? Why, why, why? I know. Dave and his first world problems. Oh, the trouble is, of course, now I've got to try and convince these first world 
problems to come out without first world problem-ing all over my thingy. I managed to get it out of the way. Fantastic. No, nope, I didn't. There we go. Ah, oh, you bar lamb. Okay. I hate these things. Go away. Right. So this is the box. And there we go. That is an Oppo. I don't know, but that's going to be very clear. <sighs> so. Whew. This has been a long time coming. I had feared that I would not get one of these. Wow, they even give you instructions. So, the first thing you see, which of course is no good to you because it's the wrong way around, the first thing you see is the top sheet. It explains what's in the box. The box is the Oppo player and all of that good stuff. Okay, so this that you probably can't see too well is the manual. Here in the box there is a box it says OPPO on both sides in here is nothing more exciting than the remote power cord this one is the US power cord. They even give you premium certified HDMI cables and the batteries. There is a large amount of discussion going on about differences in batteries, whether something is or isn't certified and what what makes it. Basically, if it does proper full, full resolution, full size HDMI, running at 18 gigabits a second it, it is considered premium and it does actually have to have there is a um, barcode or uh, QR code or whatever on the corner there you have to have that to have been able to say that your units are certified that particular one probably won't get used because I also went ahead and bought five um, monoprice premium certified 18 gigabit uh, leads so that I could use those instead. So there we go. This here, can you tell I don't do this very often? This here is the player. Ow, that's the carpet biting. I'm right on the edge back here and uh, the tacks that hold the carpet down have decided to make themselves known. So this is the moment of truth. This is my new player. Now how do I get this out without destroying everything? So entertainingly, as I wrestle with this stuff, Oppo actually puts their players in transit Get that out of way, into a reusable shopping bag. So, uh, you're off the top of the camera. So, it is actually a shopping bag and it has a logo on there which is written upside down so I can't read it. Oh, there we go. Thank you for helping the environment by reusing this shopping bag. Now, Anybody who has one of these and is thinking about selling it knows full well that they cannot use this bag. So actually, although this is an unboxing and I'm going to rebox it because I can't use the player yet, as it argues with non-HDR TVs, um, this bag, when it's not used, or when the when the player's being used, I should say, will be in the bag in the box, protected along with the eight, 18 gigabit a second disc and I will not actually be using it as such so there it is it is a full sized player it is not powered because I'm not going to put power on it so it does actually have something that the other ones don't recently 
full size screen, there's a bunch of power buttons, there's a USB thing, the eject button, the main power button, and then on the back, one of the reasons that makes it the best of the best, other than its codex and, and all that kind of good stuff, are the connections. So, we have the Ethernet port, HDMI out TV, HDMI out audio only, HDMI in if you want to attach something to this and use its internal processing, optical and coax out, two USB 3 connectors, an RS-232 connector which will allow you to, um, what will that allow you to do? That will allow you to hook it into automation systems and, and control it with controllers, in and out triggers, so it can be triggered by something, oh, that's interesting, and it can trigger something, which is also very interesting. And then this here is, these here, these eight units here, are the 7.1 um, outputs, the, um, not auxiliary, uh, what am I thinking of, preamp outputs. So if I decided that I didn't want this unit to do anything, I could then pre-out all of the audio and just have it do the visuals, which to my mind seems a bit of a waste. However, that's what you can do. You can put this into your preamps and outlaws and whatever, and then just send the signal directly to the TV and everything's hunky-dory. So this unit is approximately $570. So there's the Oppo, yes, this will go in and it will be the probably the last piece of the puzzle until newer flavours of HDMI and visual codecs and whatever um, sit, come together and then I'll probably sit out for a few years and enjoy what is probably the, the closest to a cinema you can get without being at the cinema. And that pretty much winds it up for today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know why. Got any questions, ask Uncle Dave. I believe that's going to be right there. Um, if you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down. Let me know. Tell me why. I'll see what I can do. And until then, we'll uh, see you later. Toodly doodlies. Bye.